Brr, 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 brr. Rub a hundred, you said what he read. Said you mentioned two names on your charge in the feds. Don't mean you a snitch, what he saying. Chop the game, test the fine, ain't part of the plan. Rub a hundred, you said what he read. Said you mentioned two names on your charge in the feds. Don't mean you a snitch, what he saying. Cool shites, take the stand, ain't part of the plan. Nah. Brr, 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 brr. Splash and the soldier, the game spitter. Pooh Shicey lawyers cleared that up real quick. You already know what Wack 100, he got a podcast. Anything he can reach and jump on, he gonna jump on that. But Wack 100, he lucky that Pooh Shicey played by the street code so much. Cause somebody else like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, they would have sued him. Yeah, saying that he told or he cooperating or any kind of that favor that's damaging to his career or damaging to his lifestyle or his safety. Yeah, you can get sued for that. At least press the issue about it. But since Shiesty, you know, go by that street code so much, he ain't going to press that issue. But you got to watch yourself. See, 100, he already know. He already know who going to sue him who ain't. That's going to stick to the code. That's going to keep it in the streets and who ain't. He know that there. So he know the game that he playing. He been sitting back watching social media, academics. He networked with academics. He been watching the rap game. He know a lot of politics in the rap game. So yeah, he already know how to play it. And any little topics he can jump on, they can bring a lot of clicks and make people like me and other people do videos. He gonna jump on it. And yeah, if he burn the bridge with Pooh Shiesty or 1017 or Gucci or anybody, Big 30, he don't care. He already done burned a lot of bridges with 6 9 so he a podcaster. He, like us, he a, a academics type of guy, or he a social media blogger or somebody like that. So he don't care the bridges that he burned. The only bridges that he care about is the ones that he going to keep. That's Blueface, Ray J, The Game, people like that. He even lied on The Game, so you'll know he'll say anything about anybody else if he'll do that to The Game. And that was a big type of lie to say. That was a big lie. It was so big that Game had to speak on it. It could have been the truth, but Game had to come back and correct that there. Because, like, oh, you can't say you said that to him and make him look like a sucker and he ain't do nothing. You can't say that. Oh, we got to backtrack that statement. Yeah, I did say it, but we got to backtrack that statement. It could have been like that. Or Wack 100 could have just been lying. But with Pooh Shiesty, you know, it was all cap because the lawyer came right out and said, nah, he ain't said nothing. What you reading? The only thing with this way is going to make the people not really trust your word and what you say. You're doing podcasts on YouTube. So... You can't have the people not trusting your word. You telling back to back lies. First you said the game. Then you said prodigy. You said prodigy was gay, a bisexual. Now you saying Pooh Shiesty told or he cooperating or he said some names. That don't mean he told because he said some names. You no, know, the feds do got the tape. They know he was with the name that he said if he did even say a name. They already know that there. And it could be already a part of the plan. And they all took pleas. So yeah, they already took a plea. So what you mean like that was for nothing so you'll make a lot of people not trust your word of course you're gonna have the clubhouse people backing you or they're gonna listen to you or stamp what you say but that's it and yes it will get attention because who you are what you're talking about yes but it don't look good on your resume as far as like you telling the truth and you speaking the truth because you'll say anything for clicks already you ain't even really got your foot both foot in the door with podcasting you ain't got no big deal no 30 million 20 million dollar deal yet and you already telling lies and you already know what that podcasting is based off networking bringing in guests sharing your platform yeah let other people shine so you don't bore the people out but if people know that you lying and they can't trust what you're gonna say or whatever they say to you behind closed door you may say it in front of everybody on live yeah on the platforms why would somebody be your friend or why would somebody come on your show or your platform besides the clubhouse people? These people are up and coming people. So, of course, they're going to entertain. And, of course, you're going to get the fans and people going to listen because it's something to listen to. And you are talking about celebrities and you could be telling the truth because some of the stuff you're saying is true. So you got to play it how Wack going to play it. Of course, saying what you're saying, being the person that you are, you're going to make a lot of enemies from this. You're going to burn a lot of bridges from this. Yeah, I ain't talking just from Big 30 or Pooh or the Jay-Z's. Or I ain't talking about just them. I'm talking about with different entourages in the industry. And you pissing off the game members because you be dissing other game members. So that's a lot of heat that can come your way from this podcast. Yes, it's going to bring a lot of money, good money. But is all money good money? But Wack 100 going to do what Wack 100 going to do. And can't nobody tell you nothing. You will listen to Birdman and other people, but they might not say nothing right now. Because you ain't talking about Drake or Nicki Minaj or Tiger or Lil Wayne, so Birdman might not say nothing. But you can be making it hard for yourself. Good for your bank account, but hard for your health. And that's something you got to think about. And that's my take on this conversation right here, man. Go!